All right. Well, welcome and welcome back. Uh, <laughs> those of you that have been my students for a long time know that in February, I said, okay, I just need a break. I'm done. I'm going to retire my cricket world and I'm going to just create with my hands and I'm not doing the computer anymore and blah, blah, blah. And it sounded like a really great idea. And I was pretty, pretty happy with my, my, my new self. I loved it. And then about a month ago, I, I'm with Stampin' Up and I love playing with stamps. I love my big shot. I love all, I love everything about it. I'm delighted. Couldn't be happier. Coloring again, really fun. So anywho, um, I got permission from Stampin' Up to, to continue my simples. And if you don't know what simples are, simples are, sorry, need to turn the phone off. Simples are my SVGs that help scrapbookers. And I had stopped doing that because I was concerned it might be a conflict of interest. Anyway, it's not. So I started making simples again. And we had a scrapbooking weekend and I used my Cricut a lot. And it was like an old shoe. I really missed it. I see the pretty simple and it sucked me back in the pretty Cricut. I have the Explore Air 2 and the mint green just fits my desk perfect. And I just, yeah, and it got me. It got me again. And I hadn't even really paid attention to the maker. I kept saying, nope, 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 and more nope. And then I paid attention. And then I talked to a few people who said, oh, would you please? And I thought, oh, everyone's going to think I'm silly because they said I was retiring. So never say never in my world. Um, I'm back. I didn't really go anywhere. I've been teaching just as much. I've just been teaching other things. I've been teaching a lot of Stampin' Up! classes. I teach probably two or three a week. So I decided, well, I could juggle this a little bit. So I'm going to do one Cricut class a week and one Stampin' Up! class a week. That works. My Stampin' Up! classes are still free. My Cricut classes I will charge for. Um, I'm really glad I'm back too. And I've gotten really excited just thinking about it and getting all the classes organized and together. Apparently my dogs are really excited too. Sorry. We ha the people next door have a similar dog and they let him out and it fires mine up. Even though they're in the house, they should be sleeping on the couch. Uh, so anyway, yes, I'm delighted that I'm back. So let me show you where everything is and how you can find your way around. Remember, I love, love, love the Zoom classroom because I can share me and I can share my screen. And that's what I love about it. So let me get to where I want to get to. And then I'm not a big fan of my bifocals, but I will deal. So you'll see me lifting my head up like a crazy or ostrich. All right. So. You can move the camera around the picture of me. It's little and you can move it anywhere you want, get it out of your way. If you want, remember that. This is my site. This hasn't really changed. It's caramiller.com. It's been caramiller.com for a gazillion years. And you'll notice at the top it says classroom. That's the easiest way to find your way into the classroom. So if you just come to caramiller.com, you can either go to my Stampin' Up! site. My blog, I post a lot on. I post updates, I post projects, I post cards. So if you sign up right here, updates by email, and you probably already do, but you will get, when I have a blog post, you'll get like a little short tidbit that says, it's really not pretty either, and it's, it just starts out, but you know that I posted on the blog, and you can click on it and go read the whole thing and see if you're interested. So that's right here where it says you want updates by mail. But anywho, click on classroom and it brings you right to the classroom. And you'll see any, if you're logged in, any of your old classes are still here, old as in from February 2015 until today. Those classes are all here. If you took something prior to 2015 and it used to have those funky links and passwords way back in the day, 
um, those are no longer up here. The software has changed so dramatically, they are completely irrelevant. And honestly, even the older ones prior, the, even the ones from February of this year, um, Design Space is updated so dramatically with this latest upgrade, it really does look different. You can still have them, they didn't go anywhere. Remember, anything in this classroom is downloadable. So if you really want something that you think you're gonna want later, you can download it and save it to your iPad or your computer or wherever you want. So this is what's coming up in Cricut World. Uh, these are, when it says legacy Cricut, this is like the expression, the baby bug, the gypsy, any classes that I taught. And again, I've been teaching Cricut classes for over 10 years. So they're back here under the legacy ones. These are all free. These, just so that you know, these are some original SVGs that were the simples. All the one, and you may have purchased these, but these are all listed and, and free. There are some new ones coming out. They'll probably be three to four a week. Mary Ann Larson, hello. Honey, make sure you click where it says all panelists. Click on that little blue arrow and it will drop down and it will say um, all panelists and attendees and that you got it. And, and then you can send it to everybody. Oh, I hope you're doing well. Hope things are going nice. Good, good, good to hear. So this is what's coming up. Let's just kind of take a peek. This one is a two-nighter and it's all about design space, the new version. So when you click on this, you will see that it's gonna be October 3rd and October 4th, starting at eight o'clock Eastern. It will go for two hours. And this is what we're gonna cover basically all the ins and outs of the new and improved Design Space 3. Help us find our way around. And the reason I'm focusing on Design Space, Design Space is the software that controls any Explore, Explore, Explore 1, Explore Air, Explore Air 2. It works for all of them. Exactly the same software. It works exactly the same way. It also is what you need to run the new maker. So you really want to know that software. Even if you aren't sure if you're going to um, if you're going to purchase the maker, then you want to make sure that you know your software. You are on with Anna Griffin that night, name dropper. Super cool. Yes. Yes, they will all be recorded. Classes are always recorded. They present live and they are recorded. The recording is up depending on how long it processes that night or later. Oh, I'm excited for you. That's exciting. That's so cool. Good, good, good. Okay, so that's the first one. Please note down at the bottom, my little disclaimer. I am not a product expert anymore. I'm not a paid blogger. I'm not approved or paid by Cricut. None of those things. I'm me. I'm a teacher. I'm an educator. I have a background in education. I even have the letters after my name to prove it. I just love teaching Cricut classes. I don't want, I don't sell you any Cricut. I don't have an affiliate link with them. None of those things. If you want to buy a product from me, it's stamping up. If you want, <laughs> If you want to use and learn and understand your Cricut, I'm your girl. So that's what I do, okay? I dropped all my associations. I dropped all of that. I felt like there was so much of that going on that it was really hard to get past it. And that's just my little stance on, on the Cricut land. So I'm not. I'm just me. So anywho, that's what we're teaching. That is... The beginning. Now, if you feel super comfortable with Design Space, then you don't need that one. If you are able to make it do what you want, and that's the key, that you can get what you want Design Space to do, then you're all set. If you feel like, well, I think I know what I'm doing, but maybe I could, maybe I'm missing something. And that's honestly what many students will tell me was like, oh, I thought I knew what I was doing, and then went, oh, 
shoot, I didn't. So something to think about if you want a good solid base, but that's completely up to you. The next one on October 11th, because I don't know when our makers are coming and I don't want people to be disappointed. So what we're going to be talking about, again, really helpful for any use in design space is this one. It's going to be sizing and layering. And we're going to talk in more depth on some of the, the menu items that you can find in design space. Things like the ones that go across the top, like, just get something in here so I can show you. Like these up here, edit, flip, align, arrange, rotate, all these, all these crazy, how to make things work, how to get things sized the way you want them, how to use the canvas or not use the canvas to actually create something. And we'll be working on cards, probably Halloween theming because, hey, it's October. So there's that. And then, again, recorded live. Presented live, recorded, you can watch it whenever you want. And I put in here how I suggest students take my classes. This seems to have worked for most of you. You kind of watch, participate, ask questions, kind of like what you're doing tonight. Sit back, relax, drink some tea, have some hot cocoa, even wine if that's your, your drink of choice, and listen. Then pull your Explorer out and watch the recording, pausing it while you try what I'm doing. A couple of reasons for that. It's really easy to get behind. So you're trying to do what I'm doing. You're listening with this ear, and you're trying to look over here at Design Space and make it do, and then all of a sudden, I'm three steps ahead, and you are completely lost. And then you try and catch up. You're asking questions that can be distracting both to you and other students because you're way behind. It just seems to work best for folks to watch it live, ask your questions as we go, and then practice it because you can pause the recording whenever you want. So you don't have to freak out and think, well, what do I need for supplies? Well, you don't necessarily want to make exactly what I'm making. Now, there are other classes where you're going to want to do it with me. Those will be things like when we work on making a sign or we may work on making um, something with vinyl. And sometimes you want to pre-cut and then you'll actually assemble it with me. And we'll talk about that before we do it. But in general, if it's a software where we're spending the night in design space, you probably want to just watch and pay attention. Twyla, hi. You're back too, dear. Welcome. Did you find the chat? <clears throat> I just saw a question in here. Um, okay. So finally... I put the date for the 18th and the 25th. They are a week apart, and it will be all about the maker. Now, I am getting mine through the bundle on HSN, is my plan. So what I'm going to be showing you is what mine is. Now, the machines will be exactly the same. I might have a different bundle than you have if you already got yours or you picked yours up at Amazon or Michael's or one of the other places or from Cricut directly. So, but it will, it will still be the same machine. It will still be the same software. And what we're going to be doing the first night is talking about the actual machine, how it works, what the buttons are, the blades, how to make it do what you want it to do. We will talk about the different blades, when to use them, the different mats. You will, I want to show you what, um, hold on, I want to change, sorry, it's harder when you're sharing a screen, it doesn't let you do anything, let me stop that for a minute, goodness, I know I'm making you crazy. This is what the desk looks like. Linda, yes, it's $25 for both of those maker classes. You get two nights for 25. 
So right now you're seeing my, my air two, you will see the maker in this position. So this is the view that you will have in class. Okay. So you'll be able to see what it's doing. You'll be able to see the mat come in and out. You'll see what's happening. You will also, I will we'll switch back and forth between this view and the sharing of the classroom. Oh, Jeannie, I'm so sorry. Jeannie has choral practice on Wednesday. I forget that the people that are watching this recording don't, don't hear what I'm saying that I'm sorry about. <laughs> Well, you save up your questions and you make sure you ask right away. And maybe we'll switch them out. I can, we'll see what I can do. Okay, so that's how this works. Hi, Arlene, welcome. That's how this classroom works. You see me, you see the machine, you see my screen, okay? Uh, let me go back to where I was. That's me. And we'll go back to the classroom for a sec so that you can see. So that's this one. Yes, it's $25 for both nights. Carol wants to know if it replaces the air. It really doesn't, um, it does everything the air does. So potentially it could. But sometimes, you don't need everything. Maybe you want an, maybe you go to, to a crop, for example. You might want to take your air there. Um, prior to me saying I'm not going to teach cricket anymore, I had three airs. And if I was doing a big project, I ran them all. So it can do everything that the air does, yes. What's the biggest difference, there's a couple of really big differences. One of them is the pressure, the power that the maker has versus the air, any of the explorers. All of the explorers had the same cutting power, which means they can all cut the same materials. The materials that the maker can cut is significantly increased. It is 10 times the power, the pressure. So you feel like Tim on Tim the Tool Man? It's just one of those, I, I can't even say it like he did. I, I'll sound really silly and I'm not doing it. But you know, it's like super power. It's really supercharged. Okay, so that's what it does. They've also improved the scanner. That's this little piece here. This little piece is going to allow print then cut to step it up to a whole new level. It's now not going to be anywhere near as fussy. You can print then cut on different color materials, even black. So that's going to be an improvement. Um, yeah, some people are saying that they probably will still use the original Explore, Explore for paper. And that is very true. Think about you have your sewing scissors and you have your paper scissors. Same kind of thing. If you only have room for one, clearly the maker can do it all. Okay. Oh, Twyla, I am too. I am so glad that I'm back. I missed all of you. I missed the interaction. As much as I, I love my stamps and I'm really happy doing that, I miss this too. So that's what's in October. November, we will dive into projects. November, we'll, we'll assume that you have a basic understanding. I'm not going to offer the intro design space every month. This will be recorded and will be available for people later. I might do a Q&A every now and then, but as I said, I only want to do four classes a month, so I want them to be new. So in November, we will dive into projects getting ready for the holidays. We've got so many cool Thanksgiving ones. We've got, oh, Christmas gifts. So many cool things that these machines can do. So that's where we're at. Um, there still will be paper crafts. There still will be things that if you are not moving up to the maker, You'll still, I will still offer things that will be done with paper crafts, which means both machines can do them. So for example, if we're doing a banner 
or even if we're doing felt, your explore can cut those. Remember, we've done things with that before. You have to do your bonding on the back so that you can cut felt with the explore. With the maker, you don't have to do all of that because you can use the rotary blade. There's also um, a fabric blade. So we're gonna hear all about it, I'm sure. If you aren't sure what they are, Anna, and I've posted it in on my Facebook page, but Anna Griffin has a preview on her blog about what's included in the, in the bundle. Cricut is also running an HSN party. You should definitely join that event at cricut.com, um, at the Cricut's Facebook page. So it's the official Cricut page. Uh, maybe I can find that while we're here. Let me see. Facebook slows things down in the classroom. So, oh, well, this comes right up here. This is Anna's link right here. It's on YouTube, but this is right on in all my Facebook groups. I, I posted that so that you can see it. Um, let me get to Cricut. This is the Cricut official page. And when you go there, you'll see here's the upcoming event. Make sure you click on that because they're doing a lot of giveaways. They're going to have more information. I'm so, so excited about all of this, but I'm also so excited that Cricut has taken this launch and they're doing it. You're going to get the information straight from the horse's mouth. You're going to get whatever they want you to know about this machine. They can answer your questions. So that's the place to hang out on Facebook is to go straight to Cricut and get that information. Okay. To help you decide, is this something for me? Do I want to purchase it? Is it a good deal? Remember the classes, caramiller.com, click on classroom and you can sign up. There is no deadline. As to when you can sign up, you can sign up even after the class has been held. If you want to come live, I would recommend that you sign up as late as an hour before the class starts so you have time to make sure that you know how to get into the live classroom. Um, I said this the other night, once the live classroom, start, once I start teaching, <clears throat> I'm not answering email, I'm not answering messages on Facebook, I'm not answering text messages. I'm teaching those of you that are here. So try things out beforehand. I open the classroom 15 minutes early so you can come in and try. I'm trying to think whether you would whether I can answer messages then. I, I might be able to, to answer something, but you should be okay. There isn't usually an issue. There's nothing to download. It's just a simple click on the Zoom link. You will notice sometimes if you're using the app, like on your phone or on your iPad or a tablet, it'll prompt you to, if you click on my class link, it'll prompt you to download an app and then it's gonna ask you for the number. Let's just go back and look in the classroom again. It's gonna ask you for the ID number. So let's say you've signed up for this one. When you click on this first class, See this Zoom link? You click on that. Now, if you click on it right now, it's gonna it's just gonna it'll open, but you're gonna have to sit there and wait. It's the same link that you just had to get here. This is the actual ID number that you would need, and you'd have to type that in. Sometimes on the iPad, it will ask you for that number. That's the number that you want. Okay, and it's different. So if you look at this one, you'll see it's a different link, a different number. Each one is identified. After the class is over, the next, maybe later that night, it depends on how quick it uploads and how tired I am, <laughs> it, but it will be by eight o'clock the next morning. It will be there. Um, the recording will be in the same spot. So I will take away the, this live link will disappear and you will see the recording. And just so that you can tell what a recording looks like, let me see if I have one.
Mm, apparently I don't have any. I'm not enrolled in anything. Yeah, I don't think there's any videos here. No. Anywho, it looks pretty cool when you come to watch it. Um, and you can see where the download is right here. This is an old E2. You can download it. You can make it a full screen. You can turn up the volume if you have to, or you can mute me, but you can download it, okay? All right, please ask questions. Don't ever look at something and go, I don't know what she's talking about, Never mind. I'm done. I am really, I am really one of those people that spends way too much time answering emails, way too much time on my phone, but it's good for you. <laughs> Anybody have any other questions? Anything they wanted to know? Um, I'm open for requests. So if there's a particular project or class or something for Christmas or New, New Year's, Thanksgiving, that you really wanted to know about, or even Halloween, um, you know, drop me a note and say, hey, can you touch on this? Or I'd love to know more about this. I am more than willing. I am here to help you. Okay. Well, thanks for coming tonight. I'm glad that you are as excited as I am. I can't wait. Oh, the new heat press. Carol wants to know about that. Um, I have that coming too. I know. I know. Don't even, my husband's just shaking his head. Uh, <laughs> I love using, I'm terrible. Um, but we will talk about that when it gets here. From what I have read, Carol, It'll be part of the launch. That's why there's none available right now. You have to wait. It will be part of that HSN. They're saving them for then. Um, I have watched a ton of reviews. I've read everything I can get my hands on. I have always said that I think the key to getting really good heat transfer work is a good solid iron and steady pressure. That's probably the biggest thing. The heat press itself is heavy. It weighs about five pounds. So, we, and you push down on it too. So you're getting the pressure. What I, uh, the heat, official heat presses always seem so big to me and scary and industrial. This seems cute and pretty and easy to use. Joan, you have the bright pad? I bet that's really, really helpful. Weeding is my least favorite project. Does anybody else own the heat press that's in here tonight? I know, me too, Marianne. I want it all. You are so welcome. I will see you all. I hope to see some of you next week. If not, I am online. Be sure and drop me a note if you have any questions. And if not, I will see you all soon. Good night.